Let's get ready for the national anthem. If you guys want to stand with me, uh, we'll do a prayer first. So if you guys want to remove seven, then we'll be on our way. Alrighty, back at it. So let's get ready to throw the anthem and prayer. Oh Lord, we just thank you for a beautiful day out here at Lake Tolly. We ask you for your guidance and your presence today with us. And uh, make sure you look over our safety of our anglers and look over our safety of our family, our network of connections, and everyone that keeps us out here doing what we love. We just ask you to uh, give us opportunity, opportunity not only to succeed and perform out here today, but the opportunity to learn and be around uh, your creation today, Lord. We thank you for all the men and women that fight for our country, all of our first responders and service individuals out there that are out working on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can do what we love. And we ask you all this in your great name. Amen. Guys, welcome back. We are here on Lake Tolik fishing the BAM event. You know, line zoom is at six, the lines out is at two. We're just gonna run to a spot and hopefully catch some fish there. If not, we're gonna run around a lot, a couple of water, but other than that, hopefully we get on them guys, so stay tuned. Guys, first keeper today. I guess this keeper, fifteen inches.
good one. working out for me. That's number two, 60 inches. inches number three
Holy. That guy. Alright guys, number four, fifteen and a half. Number five, little guy, but we will take him. A little 14 inch. Alright, guys, number five, 14 cent five. Alright, so what we're doing is we're just fishing a little bit of this rocky bank. Has some nice offshore stuff that's not too far away from it. You know, I lost a really good one on a crank this morning. But I think what the issue was, I had EWGs and they were just not really eating it well. As soon as I switched up to uh, an 8XD with a round bin, I hooked up immediately and put the fish in the boat. You know, that's kind of, uh, you just, it just happens, you know. You know, you think a red crank, you know, this time of year, pre-spawn, they spawn, they should be just gluing right onto their red crank, but they didn't. And, uh, you know, just grinding away, you know, I got five keepers now. Just really need to do some upgrading. But, you know, it was either stay on the main lake and fish some of these colder water fish or go in the back of the Black Creek or um, Greens, but... That's where about 90% of the field went. I think only about six or seven guys stayed on the main lake. So I wanted to just stay on the main lake and get a limit. Black is very productive, but just really, really crowded fishing up there. And I didn't want to deal with that.
Go on and look this. Good call, fish right there. It's a good fish, good 16. Alright guys, good call, 17 inches. I kind of look good. Check that one out, that's a good 19 inch right there. Eight minutes left. All right guys, that's a good last minute call. 19 and a half. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for the first Bass Angler Magazine event at Lake Tolick. We did end up in fifth place. Got a nice plaque for it. Bite was pretty good first thing in the morning. And you had to capitalize on the early morning bite. Once they hit a certain time, they just completely shut off. I think I, I went like four hours without getting a bite until the very end where I got my last bite, which is my kicker fish that jumped me up to fifth. We had a good chance at a really good bite, uh, a big fish, but we just couldn't keep that fish pegged. It was on a 6XD. Uh, man, I kind of bummed out I lost that fish. After keeping that fish pinned, I feel those big head shakes. I knew it was going to be a good one, but you know, just fishing sometimes, you know, they just come off, so. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is going to talk about the location I had fished. You know, we did come out and practice, and we found that the main lake was a little bit more consistent. We got a little bit more bites on the main lake. It wasn't so much covering water. The fish were more in the pre-spawn stage on the main lake because of uh, the colder water temperatures. So we stayed on the main lake. So the bank that I had fished, 
is the bank that the sun beats on first thing in the morning. When the sun rises, it beats this entire bank up, right? So if it beats this entire bank up, it's gonna warm up a lot faster on this side. Uh, on the day that we had practiced, the water temp on the main lake was 51 to 52. And then when we went back into Greens and Black Creek, the water temp was 57. But for, for me, on the tournament day, the water temp was 54 first thing in the morning. Water temp was a little bit warmer on the main lake, which means that up in Black or in Greens is gonna be a lot more warmer, probably. 59 to 60. First thing in the morning, usually when the spawn or pre-spawn, when the sun comes up and it beats on the certain bank, first thing, that usually is a pretty good bank. Uh, if it has the right stuff, these fish may start getting ready to spawn on that. So what we did start off, we did start off on these rock piles right here by the dam. Uh, water temp is a little cold, but uh, it's set up right. Uh, this entire bank was a rocky bank and it's really flat. There's not a, much, there's not a lot of coves around, so these fish kind of are a little bit more predictable. Uh, versus going to a long creek, right? Uh, a long creek with a lot of arms. So if this fish in this general area, uh, you can kind of guess where they're gonna go if the water temp rises or if it goes down, right? So there's some isolated rock piles out here that are a little bit deeper and their pre-spawners can stage out there and when the temperature's right for them, they feel comfortable, they can move up to the bank. This entire bank is rocky and really flat. Uh, it, it's not all slate rock, which is what majority of the main lake is. It's a good mixture of different kinds of rock. You got your river rock, your slate rock, uh, you know, your hard pan. It has a good mixture of all, of all those kind of rocks. Uh, really good for them to spawn on. So, uh, you know, if they weren't spawning on this bank, they would go into this first cove right here. That's basically uh, where I felt like they were going to go in. For me, they weren't in, in there, but uh, I know that John went in there and caught two really good ones but i stayed out here majority of the time i did rotate around the entire lake i did not get any bites anywhere else other than this general area so first thing in the morning i, I start off the shallow i threw a jig caught one up shallow and then i fished these offshore rock pile throwing that deep crank got a few bites you know and like you've seen missed quite a bit of fish but uh that's the general area that we stayed on you know of course we wanted to go into black creek as well but it was gonna be extremely crowded back there so we stayed on the main lake this trail paged back pretty good it was the only trail that paged one in every five boats so there was 50 anglers it paid out 10 spots which is a lot of places right even in the last place you got more than what the entry fee was and plus this trail also has a uh, no entry fee championship so which means that if you made it in the top 20 you don't have to pay for entry fee for the championship and a uh, good portion is i believe it's 25 dollars from your entry fee goes into toc so it's gonna be a pretty big pot by the end of the year and also i believe ten dollars per angler for every event goes into angler of the year and that is 100 percent payout so that's gonna be a pretty nice check for whoever for whoever wins the angler of the year or the championship so uh, really looking forward to that event hopefully i can make it to the toc and that's gonna be it for bam uh the next event we are headed to oklahoma for the national championship great tournament overall had a good time hung out with the guys you know congrats to all the winners and once again guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys on the next one